Hi guys, welcome, welcome to lesson 4-3 where we are going to use models to multiply a decimal and a whole number. So we're going to use our little 100 chart that you guys have used before to draw a picture and color in your cubes to show how you are multiplying this number. So we are going to talk about our goal for today too. So repeat with me, I can use models to represent multiplying a decimal with a whole number. So once again, you're going to show me with a picture how you are solving your math problem. All right, <clears throat> so if you look right here, lesson four dash three on page 177. Um, it says, I'm gonna look down here at the look back section right here. Uh, it says right there, Ed says a decimal grid shows 10 tenths. Monica says a decimal grid shows 100 hundredths. Who's correct out of both of them? And I want you to explain. So if you look at your little hundreds boxes right there, um, honestly, let's check and see if there are 10 tenths. So 10 sections of 10. If you, so if you look at this hundreds grid right here, we're gonna kind of look at our sections of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so that should show 10 tenths. Okay, so there are 10 groups of 10 in there. So Ed is correct, but Monica, if you're looking here, Monica says that there are just 100 hundredths. So there are 100 boxes. So here's my question here too. Do you guys know how many boxes there are in here? And it is in the name of it. It is a hundreds um, section right here. So there are a hundred boxes. So both are correct. They just decided to explain it in different ways. <clears throat> um, so Right now, we're gonna kind of look at how you can model multiplying by a decimal or multiplying a decimal by a whole number. Um, one easy way to do this is honestly to draw a picture, which is why we're focusing on it today. So you look right here, um, you have multiple different steps, but we're gonna kind of work through this problem that it's showing on this picture here. It says, Bari displayed four paintings side by side in one row. Each painting has the same width. What is the total width of the four paintings? Okay, so each painting is 0.36 meters wide. Okay, you want to round to the nearest tenth. So, 0.36, if you look right there, will round up to four, okay? <clears throat> so four times 0 0.04 equals 1.6. So the answer should be close to this. This is kind of what we were working on yesterday. Um, but using your hundreds grids, we're going to find the exact answer. Okay. So mental math from yesterday. If you guys don't remember that, you can go back to the other video or I will make a shorter video just to kind of give you a quick review with that okay so we are going to find the actual like straight up answer with this so with your hundreds grid um you are going to actually draw your picture so we're going to do four times 0.36 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one color and i'm going to color in 0.36 so 36 of them so 10 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And I'm grabbing another color and I'm doing 
another set of 36. So one thing I like to do with this is I'll just color in my tens first. So 10, 20, 30. Do you guys notice that I left those because that's not a full 10? 31, 32, 33, 34, and then I'm going to continue right here, 35 and 36. Once again, changing colors, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Um, you can choose to do it the way I did and just do tens first, or you can just count your boxes and just do 36. And then you grab a fourth color and continue to fill in your 36. 10, 20, 30, and we're gonna go back and fill these two in, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. <coughs> so as you look right here, we know since they are, these are hundredths grids, it'll be one full grid. You put your decimal, and then you'll look right here as one point, one, two, three, four, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four. All right, there is your answer. So on this page here, on this page here, you guys are supposed to be working on numbers 2 through 23, okay? Um, what I would like for you guys to do is I want you to use your hundredths grids. Um, I have a bunch of the copies of them on your countertop in your um, red math bin. Um, so right here we are working on number one, okay? So we are doing 0.8 times four. If you guys look right here, um, I don't want you today to estimate or round. I want you to find the straight up answer and do it for me. So 0 0.8 times four. When you are using your hundredths grid paper, I want you to write down the number and the problem above your grid that you are working, just so you know which one it is so I can see. Okay? <clears throat> so like with our last one, we will color in 8. Okay? So, if you look right here, though, is this 8 or 8E? Eight e? Okay, since it is in the tenths place, that means we're coloring in AD. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can notice, I'm going to need more than one hundredths grid. Here I have added more hundredths grid so I can do my work. And I'm just going to change my color, and I'm going to continue. Filling it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And remember, we're doing it four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you look at all four of these, you will find that you have three entire ones filled in and two tenths filled in. So your answer is 3.2. I want you guys to continue using this process to complete and work on um, 2 through 23 independently and I will be walking around and helping those who need it. I would like for you to try and use a hundreds grid for most if not all of these. Okay, this is what we're kind of focusing on and we're doing the visual portion of it today. Once you finish 2 through 23, you guys can do your mastery ticket underneath the TV 
and then you will work on your independent um, homework. So, you guys will be able to go to page 181 and work on the problems that you have here. As you can see, there's only 10 on this one side, so it's not a lot, but I still want you to use the hundreds grid. Some of you will have problems on the back also. I want you to try and get through your must-dos and should-dos today, okay? Everything is done. I want you to please turn it into the turn-in bin, and um, we will move on to the next lesson.